Hi everyone, welcome to All Inspired. My name is Amanda. If you're new here and on my channel, I like to do all things inspiring. It's a lot of homemaking content and today we are going to get this main level picked up. I just needed to get some cleaning done in here, just get the cat hair out of here, just get everything really nice and cleaned up and just, just really fresh is what I'm going for today. A fresh, new, clean look. If you have pets, you know how it is. You end up having all that cat fur and dog fur and hair and all that good stuff. So I wanna get a real thorough vacuum of everything, get the kitchen all cleaned up, and then later on I will be showing you a really cute DIY um, Valentine's that you can make with your kiddos. It ends up really adorable. I show uh, how to make one and then she ends up going to town making the rest of them. And they turn out really cute and then even our middle schooler ended up making a few for her friends as well. I use a bunch of Dollar Tree items. I use a little doily and some candy and different things and it ends up turning out really cute. So stay tuned for that, but first we're just going to get this house cleaned up. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing While I get all these dishes done, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how to improve upon your relationships. One of the things that I really want to do this year is build really strong relationships with my family and my friends as well. And I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. I've actually been following Mel Robbins since last fall, and she just has a wonderful podcast. And one of the things that she said that I thought was really, really neat is she said one of the best ways that you can help build your relationship is by two very simple words and it's let them and that sounds so silly but if you watch my last video I talked about just do it and how that those apply to being motivational words and if you want to you can go check that out but um let them. It's such a powerful word and a, such a powerful phrase and, and so small, but the the example that she gave was, um, you know, when you're dealing with an individual and you don't necessarily agree on what they're doing, but you love them, you let them. 
you just go ahead and let them do what they're gonna do because in all honesty you can only control you 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 can try as hard as you want to control other people but it'll never work it will never work the only person that you have control over is you so let them so like the example that i can think of is if you had a friend that was gambling let them let them gamble let them learn their lesson let them lose be there to support them emotionally, but do not bail them out. But let them, in the event that they ask you for advice, then you tell them, I think you should do a budget, and I also believe that you should not spend more than you make. Just common, you know, advice to give anyone. But then, after that, let them continue to gamble. Let them continue to do what they want to do. Do not hound them every day. If you start doing that in your relationships where you just, you don't, you know, we have this idea that we need to rescue everyone. And I am so guilty of this. And what it really comes, um, it really comes into my life is with my daughter. She's 19, um, she's young, she's still learning, and I have to let her make her own mistakes. I really have to let her go out into the world and figure it out on her own because it's her world now and she has got to learn and I did too. I was a young kid once too and I had to go out in the world and I had to learn. So you have to let them make the mistakes, learn from them so that they can grow. I am actually making chicken and dumplings for dinner. It's one of my husband's favorite meals that I make and I have perfected this. I don't use chicken broth anymore. I just make my own. I put in just a few little seasonings. It really doesn't matter, but the the main base for chicken and dumplings, I feel like is pepper, garlic, um, bay leaves, You can throw in some parsley, basil, whatever you really want. It just depends on your particular taste. But even if you just did the bay leaves, the salt, and the pepper, it could bring out a great flavor because I am actually going to use a rotisserie chicken. And I just shred the whole entire chicken. And then I put all of the shredded chicken in the bottom. And then I actually take the whole entire chicken and put it in the crock pot that is what makes it so good my husband said when he was young this is how his mom would make chicken and dumplings and it's just such a wonderful broth it's a more healthier broth because you're making it at home it doesn't have as much sodium it just ends up tasting so good but i'm going to move along i promise y'all that i would show you these adorable little easy inexpensive Uh, Dollar Tree Valentine's I just went ahead and went and got these doilies you can get them in like a 16 pack I think and then you just fold this adorable little envelope I'm actually folding it with the candy inside but um, our very very smart youngest started helping me with this and she was like you know it's a lot easier just to fold it all together and leave the top open and then fill it with candy and she's 100% correct I mean it works either way but unlike what I'm doing it's much easier if you put the candy in at the end so I just end up folding this really adorable I fold both the sides in I fold up the bottom I fold up the top and then I just put this really cute sticker on it. She wrote the names on the back of it. And so what we actually ended up doing is folding the whole entire thing. She wrote the names on it. We taped it together and then 
she stuck the candy inside and then we put the little heart on the front so just a really inexpensive easy DIY uh, for her class we needed two sets of doilies and then we needed three packages of the hearts so it's about six dollars seven dollars spent at the Dollar Tree plus whatever candy and I think we spent about four dollars on the Hershey kisses and Hershey hugs so very inexpensive custom Valentine idea for the kiddos but I want to go ahead and just finish decorating just a little bit I'm not doing a ton of decorating you can see a reel in my um, you can go to my reels and see that I decorated in the kids room for them uh, the the smaller holidays like St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day and stuff I more so do it for the kids but I do have these really cute decorations to add there's this adorable marble it's one of my favorite stones on the planet it just looks so pretty and I put it up against this purple oak wood that just looks fantastic and then just this really simple jar with a rose on top of it and the Hershey kisses and hugs that were left over from the kiddos valentines and just very simple but looks really cute and the kids will remember this every single year but now this has been sitting here for like three or four hours my broth is wonderful it looks great I pull the chicken out I go ahead and put in some cream of celery soup you can use whatever uh, cream soup that you want my husband's allergic to mushrooms so I don't like the cream of chicken the chunks of chicken that are in there I don't like it I think it's gross so we use cream of celery it ends up tasting very great but I just go ahead and stir that on in and then what I do is I just use the biscuits it makes it so much easier for me I grab a whole roll of biscuits I cut them into force and then I toss them into my broth. This is probably gonna take about 45 to 50 minutes. If you want to have this done quicker, you can make it in the stove and it ends up the bread will cook a lot faster if you do it on the stove versus the crock pot but even when you turn the crock pot up to high it takes about 45 minutes so we ain't messing around we're moving right along i had my daughter helping me out she was doing some organizing with me so she just went ahead and cleaned out this area it's this is our main level and for some reason we just kind of started shoving stuff underneath this sink and it's just a chaotic mess we know what's supposed to be down here but we just randomly started hiding things in here and you guys know how it is it just happens and i feel like especially around the holidays the hustle and bustle you're busy it just ends up happening so we were going to get this taken care of i knew that i wanted there to be like a brush and some hair ties and like hair accessories down here because sometimes we're about to leave the kids haven't brushed their hair yet we tell them go brush your hair they come in here they can brush it real quick and then we're out the door it just makes it a lot easier most of the time they're pretty good about getting ready but just in case we have it right here if we need it it's easily accessible and they can come in here and grab it I wanted like a few cleaning utensils down here just a, a few cleaning products for this bathroom and then I wanted some overstock of our toilet paper just because we don't have a lot of places to store this and this is a huge area to keep it in and then just some hygiene products or um, some feminine products and so that's really all we need in this space so everything that is is not on that list is getting out of here we're getting rid of it oh I'm gonna put that little foot spot in there too because you know what I don't know where else to put it and I feel like it needs to go in a bathroom because it's for your feet and so it's gonna go in this bathroom because I feel like this bathroom needs the least amount of items but unfortunately it it does take up a lot of space and it's kind of annoying so I end up having to move my little container over to the side and then I just stack the feminine products on top but this works out perfectly the kids can see here's the band-aids here is the cotton swabs and then I end up putting a little thing of alcohol in there for them so if they get hurt or if a friend gets hurt they can bring them straight into the house they can come in here they can take care of what they need to and then they can go about their business if it's just a little minor injury but I got my hair accessories the hair ties in here I got all that stuff I got my cleaning products 
everything that needs to be in here is in here and everything that does not need to be in here I took out and I went and put it in way that is one of the biggest tips to organizing if you're going to remove items do not just leave them in a box or a tote go find them a home and if you cannot find them a home it's probably time to donate them now I'm gonna hop on upstairs and take care of this room. It is just, I don't think our bedroom has ever been this trashed. It is out of control. Um, we actually, you can see right there, the wall had to get patched because we had a little bit of an accident, but it's okay. We are redoing the spare rent bedroom. Um, my daughter moved into the basement and so now we have a spare bedroom available and so we went ahead and redid that but we moved the bed out of there and put it into here and the girls were doing somersaults on the bed and one of their foots caught the wall so they're okay it was pretty sore and a little bit swollen like nothing hurt or anything but you know you hit your foot on the wall that's not gonna feel good it didn't go all the way through the wall it just put a little tiny dent in it and so we just kind of had to cover up that dent with some some stuff and just smooth it out so that when we paint in here you won't see that little divot into the wall so it wasn't a big catastrophe but her foot was sore and she didn't want to step on it for the rest of the day so but they were having a good time they were just up here doing little somersaults on that and she ended up going the wrong way and whacked her foot on the wall but we just had a disaster in here I was doing Valentine's Day cricket projects and I was in the middle of doing that spare bedroom that I just didn't get done on time and we had the weekend with the girls so if you're new here um, we're a blended family and we have the children every other weekend and so on the weekends when we have them we're out doing lots of activities they go and hang out with their friends they play games they do sports and activities and so we're pretty busy on the weekends when they're here and this house just tends to become a little bit chaotic and so I just have to set aside some time just to make sure that on Sundays I get this place all cleaned up and just have it back in order because we cannot go through the week like this like it's okay if we make a mess on the weekends and then we clean it up especially when we're really really busy but to go into the next week with this whole bedroom looking like this I just couldn't handle it I need to get it taken care of now so I'm just getting all of this mess cleaned up and then I'm gonna get this room thoroughly dusted it just really really needs it this is going to be one of my next room makeovers we're going to do our bedroom i just i want to paint the walls i want to freshen up the space i want to do a little bit um, of rearranging and maybe put some seating in here in the bedroom side um, so i just want to just change it up a little bit i definitely want some fresh paint on the walls i'm not sure if I'm going to paint this office space, I know in the bedroom area I'm going to paint it white. That's just what I've been doing recently. I love the white color. I love that I can switch all my decor anytime I want and it'll always match with the color. I have done blues, I have done grays, I have done lighter blue, darker blue. I have done a variety of color and I always run into the same problem. I can't match things perfectly. So I had a door uh, barnwood door that I wanted to stain in our old house but unfortunately when I stained the door it looked purple and it's because the walls were darker blue and it just it did not look right the contrasting colors just looked so off so we ended up having to paint that beautiful barnwood door white which I'm just it's fine it's not our house anymore we don't live there and the door was still stunning but i felt like it would have looked better if it was stained so i'm really wanting to incorporate more woods into the house and i feel like if you have a, a blue or a, even a bluish tone gray it's really really hard to incorporate those colors without it pulling out those blue or those purple tones and so it was just so odd but the, it just looked very very purple and so I want to get away from that and I want to use more of the white but in this office I feel like it's such a neutral color that I might keep it and what I was thinking about doing is painting the whole entire office this color doing the chair rail doing the baseboards and doing the crown molding because that is a very in stylish look it just i and and for 
first I was like, what? You're going to paint everything? Huh? But when you look at photos of especially like an office and the whole entire thing is painted, it actually looks really, really elegant. So I'm thinking about doing that, but I'm not quite sure. What do you guys think? Do you think I should leave the chair rail, the baseboards, and the crown molding white? Or should I go ahead and paint it this same neutral color? Um, I'm just going to go through, I'm going to bust all this out. You can tell this area just gets really, really dusty. I need to do this at least every other week just because it just accumulates a lot of dust. We did have solar panels installed not too long ago, and so there were people working on our roof. I have no idea if that has anything to do with it. It's not like we had our windows open, but it does seem like it's dustier than usual especially for it being winter time but i'm just going to get a real good thorough clean going on in here So I didn't get everything done in here and um, those that laundry is not going to be put away in this video unfortunately um, I just didn't get to it and I had to finish up recording this and then get on out of here because I had somewhere to be but my husband helped me out later on in the evening get all the laundry put away sometimes I will just wash dry and put it on the bed all day long and then he'll come in and help me hang it and put it all away because he knows I hate hanging it but this is how everything turned out. I got it all nice and cleaned and vacuumed and we're ready for next week. Thank you for watching.